In this GarageBand Quick Jam, we're going to take a look at one of the smallest, but perhaps one of the handiest features that we have here in GarageBand on the iPhone and the iPad. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete. This is Studio Live today, where I help you create, record, and release your best music. And when you are creating and recording that music, having the ability to take some notes right there in your digital audio workstation, in this case, GarageBand iOS, is a very handy feature to have. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get to the notepad and some ideas around the sort of notes that you might wanna store in your notepad here in GarageBand. Here we are in GarageBand, and this is a track that I'm working on at the moment. So to get to our notepad, I tap in the top right corner, go to our settings, and then scroll down until we get to notepad, and tap on that. And here you can see we've now got a free text entry field where we can put anything. Anything we can type on our keyboard can go in here. And what sort of things would you actually store here? Well, for me, I like to actually put some notes about what I've been recording. So especially if I'm using, say, an external interface, what I'll do is I'll put something like what the input gain was set at. So if you're using anything outside of GarageBand, this can be really useful so that when I come back to this track I can, and I want to re-record a guitar, I'll know that, oh, okay, my input gain was set at three quarters when I first recorded this, so I can set my hardware up again to match that original recording. The other thing I like to do is leave notes to myself. So if I don't have time to do something, what I'll put in here is say I want the uh, drums, I want the toms removed in the second verse. I'll type this in here like so. And then when I come back to this track, so the beauty part of this is obviously, and when we go back out of the notepad and we go completely out of this track, it's gonna save those notes with the track. So we go back to our track here and we go back here and scroll down to notepad, then we can see those notes there. And this is great not only for yourself, but if you're collaborating with others, it will actually take those across. If you are sending your GarageBand projects, and I've got a video about how to collaborate using iCloud Drive for your GarageBand projects, then the other user will be able to see your notes and you can leave notes to each other about the mix and about the recording here. The other thing that I like to do is also add a date to any notes. So if I come in here, today is the 12th of September. Yes, this is how we do dates in Australia. And that way I know that these notes here were related to that date. And then if I'm adding any additional notes, I cannot do that, but I can come down here and then add the next date. So I know that all of my notes here are going to be in order of when I've actually put the note in my notepad. And finally, when I come to the mixing process, it's a really good place to actually put my mix notes in here. And what I'll tend to do is put some dot points like this. So I'll just go uh, something like vocals, if we could spell vocal, chorus, to loud at track eight. Whoops, we'd actually type a bit better than that. Um, at bar eight is what I meant anyway. So uh, yeah, you can put anything in here and then if you put your, your sort of your mix things here, when you come back to doing your mix adjustments, then you've already got your notes here. And yes, you can use an external notepad or another, another device, but this way, if I say go over to my iPad and then reopen this file over there, I've got all my notes right here in the projects. I don't need to go to any other app. And there you go, a very simple, but a very cool feature here in GarageBand iOS. And there you have it, one of the simplest features that we have here in GarageBand, but in my opinion, one of the more underrated features because it really helps you when you're creating, mixing, mastering, and releasing your songs if you can have those notes in there. If you've got any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave those down below, and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We've got a whole heap more GarageBand Quick Jam tutorials. In fact, two of them are linked right down below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right or go to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.